a little height too. Gotta show love for Tulane and LSU, baby. That's how we do it, right? Well, I want to take this time to thank God for waking us all up this morning. Secondly, I want to thank the Greater New Orleans Foundation for having me. It's great. Um, go Tigers. I'm just really enjoying everything. Uh, the food was delicious, too, by the way. Those red beans were like, I like to call off the chain. They were pretty good. So shout out to the chefs as well. I'm full now. I think I can eat later about 7 o'clock. Um, go Tigers. I'm, I'm, I'm very, as, a, as an alum, I'm extremely proud of the Tigers right now, what they're doing. Uh, myself, Hunt Palmer, and uh, Brandon Taylor uh, have been enjoyed doing the pre-games and the post-games thus far this season. Um, as a former player, the Tigers has definitely exceeded my expectations. Uh, I didn't think that we were going to do the damage we did in Miami, or against Miami in Dallas, uh, and, and of course how we performed against Auburn. Um, a lot of the questions uh, that, that LSU has been getting during the preseason and spring game, there were a lot of folks who were really, really worried about uh, the quarterback play and our special teams, and that was two decisions uh, that LSU made in the offseason I thought was, was pretty good. So I guess Coach, Coach O got it right, baby. So, <laughs> so I, I thought that that was cool. But um, just as a formal player, guys, uh, just kind of walk y'all through, uh, through what, what we've been experiencing at LSU. Uh, I call it the 10-year syndrome, right? You, teams go through this 10-year this uh, deal where, they, where they're rebuilding and trying to get things going. And uh, hey, we're, we're in 2018. Uh, last time LSU seen this much success and looked this much promising was back in our day, 2007, 2008. Uh, 2008. So I, I love the way the program has rebuilt uh, thus far. Uh, the play on defense ha has been tremendous, uh, particularly from the cornerback position. Uh, with Reedy Williams, guy might be the first <laughs> first guy off the board, uh, or second to another LSU Tiger, Devin White. Uh, so defensively, LSU looks very promising. The the swamp, the swamp, the swamp, or the memories, right? It's a very aggressive place to go in. Why? Because the fans are like right there. Like soon as <laughs> soon as you come onto the field, they're in your ear. So it does require a lot of discipline going into Gainesville and, 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 and playing against Florida. A uh, good team we're going against. I, I think Dan Mullen got it all together, obviously after that big loss against uh, Kentucky early in the year. But Kentucky looks pretty good. They, they really do uh, in the East. Uh, Hunt was messing with me about this the other day on, on, uh, on the radio, and I, and I say this team is very believable. So it's not an easy task for the Tigers, right? That we're going to have to go in there. Uh, and click on all three cylinders. I say three cylinders because we do know that a quiet part of the game is special teams. And, and, and that's been big for us lately here with Cole Tracy uh, showing up clutch. Came pretty close last week to making a 52-yarder. I thought that that was pretty impressive. Uh, guys want to more than likely play on Sunday. So a lot ahead of us right now. We're about to get into some real, real SEC play. Uh, going, to, going into Florida hostile environment, and then we know the games will follow Georgia and Alabama. So I'm excited uh, just, just being around the players. Uh, they're buying in the coach uh, Ed Ogeron's staff and, and, and what they're providing. Um, I, I, do like, I do like the fact that we do have a general at quarterback, someone who, who really who, who gets it. Uh, he, he, he's, he's all in. Uh, before we started, uh, uh, the, before we started the, the, the lunch in the day, I was talking with Mr. Ken, uh, and we were discussing uh, Joe Burrow and his play and, and how it's not so much about the, the mistakes or the past quarterbacks that we had recently here. I mean, obviously, Justin Mc, uh, McMillan's going to, it's going to be great for Tulane. Uh, Lowell Narcisse is going to be able to pick where he wants to go when it is time to decide. Uh, but again, LSU has been searching for a, a good season around here. We, we finally got one. Uh, of great leadership by Coach Ed Ogeron and his staff. Uh, I'm, I'm impressed. One group that I did leave out that I'm extremely impressed with, outside and inside the trenches, you know we love a line play, right? We'll get into that. Obviously, uh, they've been dealing with some injuries. But, but the receiving core, I, I think that the, the, those number one and two receivers that we got last year out of high school and, and Jamar Chase and Terrence Marshall has been big for us. Uh, being able to use those big bodies in Sullivan and and, and D. Anderson and all those guys. Uh, I had a little talk with Mickey Joseph uh, over the summer, 
a good good buddy of mine. We, I love the Josephs, right? West Vegas. Hello, somebody. Uh -huh. And and, and um, he, he's been, he was very impressed uh, with with the young guys. Uh, Jordan Jeffers, Jordan Jefferson. I'm so used to the Jeff, Ricky Jeff, uh, Jefferson, Jordan, Justin. They all the same, right? Uh, kids out of St. Rose. Uh, uh, he he. But that's one guy he really really did stress about. He stressed about. Uh, Justin Jefferson's play and, and how big of an impact he's made, he, he has made in training camp, and we're seeing it. And we love it. Isn't it cool, right, to see the ball evenly distributed? I, I'm, I was looking at Joe Burrow's numbers from last week. He hit nine receivers, nine different guys touched the ball through the air. It's another guy about an hour away, about 15 minutes from us, that also hit nine receivers last week and I think he wears black and gold, right? So when whenever you <laughs> whenever you get a guy like that uh, to come in and, and have that type of command and if you listen to for those who didn't catch it, I was talking about Drew Brees of the Saints. But uh, <laughs> but 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 if, if you listen to before we let go of JT Barrett, which was a little disheartening, he though his teammates give him praise. They they really do. They they like Joe Burrow the way he played. Um, they had nothing but positive things to say about him. So I am confident going into the swamp. I know it's going to be, again, a hostile environment. Uh, Franks is a really good quarterback. He, ha he has the skills and the tools, but, I mean, LSU is just that strong on defense. So I'm, 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 I'm happy and looking forward to seeing how things go. So I'll definitely open up for some uh, Q&A. Marlon, isn't it true that you have a little tie in the ranks here at New local New Orleans High School? In your Wednesday night radio show, don't you broadcast it from a very unique location? Yes, good question. So De La Salle High School is the location that he's referring to. Uh, 6 to 8 uh, p.m. We actually had Coach uh, Marcus on last week, a week before last, with him and uh, Travis Mumphrey. Uh, we do prep weekly uh, on 100.3 FM uh, right here uh, at De La Salle High School in beautiful uptown New Orleans. Uh, just really, De La Salle has a wonderful studio. It's a really great DreamWorks studio that we record out of. And a cool part about the show, The Prep Weekly, uh, again, it's 6 to 8 uh, p.m. Uh, every Wednesday, we talk uh, high school football on uh, 100.3 FM. But it's the students at De La Salle's High School that's running the show. Isn't that cool? So I, I love that. I love the fact that De La Salle was open enough for that. I love the fact that ESP in New Orleans was open for that. So comfortable that uh, our general manager, he won't be there tomorrow. So who's going to get me on there? The students at uh, De La Salle, uh, Jalen and the rest of the guys. Who remember the St. Great Norman uh, Hand? Passed away a few years ago. Big 99, it was a big impact for the black and gold. Well, his son, Trey Hand, actually is talent on the show with me. Sounds amazing. Hey, Mr. Kent, bro, I better watch out, man. He's, he's, he's emerging, for real. He's a sophomore at De La Salle, really good defensive tackle. He didn't steal that, right? <laughs> and um, and, and he, he's actually on their talent, him and Elena. So I love the fact that we're at De La Salle and uh, working with the student athletes. Any other questions about the Tigers on Prep Weekend? Thank y'all so much for y'all time. <laughs>